What's up, guys? I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never. Today, I'm going to be covering some extremely bullish news for Jasmine. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Now, first things first, I will give a Jasmi overview for those of you guys that don't know. So Jasmi is currently trading at a price point of just under half of a penny. It has a market cap of 167 million, which ranks 141st among all cryptocurrencies. Jasmi has a max supply of 50 billion with a circulating supply of 48.8 billion, which is about 97% in circulation. And that's one of my favorite parts about Jasmi is that there will be basically no dilution. Now, Jasmi reached its all-time high back in the 2021 bull market at just under $5 and is down 99% since then now if you look at jasmine in the all-time chart i will be the first one to say it looks terrible and it makes perfect sense because it's down 99 percent however if you click on the market cap version the chart still doesn't look perfect but at least it has had some pump ups and it's not a complete flat line and the reason for this is because when jasmine was at four dollars and 99 cents there were significantly less jasmine tokens in circulation which made each individual token worth a lot more but now that 97 percent of the tokens are released again there won't be hardly any inflation which is a really good sign from an investment standpoint. Now, if you're looking to invest in Jasmine, I recommend using Binance, Coinbase, or KuCoin. I think those are the three easiest centralized exchanges to use. But what is Jasmine? Jasmine is a cryptocurrency project of a Tokyo-based Internet of Things provider, Jasmine Corporation. As a system, the Internet of Things includes mechanical and digital elements endowed with an identifier and the ability to transmit data. The IoT company Jasmine specializes in buying and selling data, and the Jasmine platform connects two categories, service providers and data users. So Jasmine promotes the idea that all data has value. And Jasmine has a technology that allows individuals like you and I to make money off of our data. And this technology is called a data locker. So the way that it works is that an individual can store their data within this locker. And then if a company wants to acquire that person's data, they have to pay the individual that owns the data and Jasmine. And the kicker is that Jasmine only accepts the Jasmine token as payment, which in turn will always give the Jasmine token utility and it will always give it value. But what's nice about this technology is that if there is a company trying to acquire your data that you don't trust, you think they're a shady company you don't have to give your data over so you have the opportunity to accept or reject that company's request and again if you accept it you would then get paid so in my opinion it's a very innovative promising technology jasmine was founded in april of 2016 in tokyo by several former sony executives and sony is a massive corporation so this is naturally going to give jasmine a lot more credibility than most projects and on top of that they are the first ever japanese blockchain project so they also in a sense have that first mover advantage advantage. Now, if you go to the Jasmine Global website, they believe in the three principles, decentralized data democracy. And now one of my favorite parts, they are billed as Japan's Bitcoin. There are many people out there right now that believe Bitcoin is quite possibly the greatest investment of all time. There have been countless millionaires and billionaires created from Bitcoin. So if an entire country comes out and says you are basically their version of Bitcoin, I think that's a narrative that can garner a lot of hype. And right now, the crypto market is heavily driven based on hype and speculation. So anything that can garner hype is great from an investment standpoint. And now we get into some of the major news. So if you come over to Jasmine's Twitter or X, where they have 99.4 thousand followers, just 12 hours ago, they partnered with Canna Labs, which if you click on the article, I won't bore you guys by reading the whole thing, but I want to read a little part of it. This collaboration aims to expand the Jasmine ecosystem. Canna Labs holds a leading position in the Web3 and blockchain infrastructure industry. It is an innovative company that works actively to decipher the complexities of the DeFi and GameFi ecosystems. Their mission is to make these ecosystems more accessible to both new and existing users and developers. So this will overall help with Jasmine's infrastructure and just getting their name out there. Now back on August 29th, Jasmine has welcomed a new partner, PyLab Technologies. So through this business agreement, we will receive comprehensive support from PyLab for KYC verification and cryptocurrency name services. Under this agreement, Jasmine and PyLab Technology will harness the full potential of both projects and expand globally, which is obviously a very promising thing to see. And now finally, in my opinion, we get to the most important news. So August 28th, they tweeted out, thrilled to announce that Jasmine is going on a new journey. We are developing our Jasmine chain. 
So it's a layer two solution based on Ethereum. Jasmine Chain aims to provide users with more efficient, cost-effective, and secure ways to transact data. Its highly scalable design can handle the rapid growth of future data volumes, ensuring that our community can enjoy a smooth and instant interaction experience while enjoying data sovereignty. Now, a big issue that a lot of people had with Jasmine is that it's an ERC-20. And being that it's built on Ethereum, it would be more difficult to scale. But due to them implementing Jasmine Chain, that changes everything. And now for the final part of this video, we'll take a look at Jasmine's weekly time frame. So right now, the Stochastics and the RSI are both extremely oversold. And then if you look at price action, it swings from a higher low to a lower low. If you look at the RSI, it swings from a lower low to a higher low. That is class A bullish divergence. Typically, that signals a local bottom has been reached. And then if you look at the Fibonacci, Jasmine is trading beneath the 786. That is also typically a fantastic accumulation zone if you believe in a project long term. And then you could also argue that Jasmine is trading in a falling wedge, which break up 68% of the time and it has a measured move to over half a penny. And then last but not least, you could also argue that Jasmine is potentially forming a triple bottom. There are a lot of very bullish indicators on Jasmine right now. But at the end of the day, you guys do have to understand, Jasmine and the rest of the crypto market are heavily tied to Bitcoin. If Bitcoin rises, most will rise. If Bitcoin falls, most will fall. And regarding Bitcoin, it is heavily tied to macroeconomics. So you also have to understand that macroeconomics significantly outweigh technical analysis. So if all of a sudden the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF were to get accepted, that could skyrocket Bitcoin and the entire crypto market. On the contrary, if it gets rejected or something similar to SpaceX liquidating the Bitcoin happens, that could tank the entire crypto market. So just keep an open mind, realize that anything can happen, and I recommend having a long-term outlook on crypto. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments how high do you guys think Jasmine could go next bull run. If you guys found this content valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.